Last October, Adobe announced that there's a new speech to text auto transcribing function coming to Premiere Pro. I was just given access to the beta version of it. So in order to test it out, I uploaded a previous video that I made that has about 10 to 11 different speakers all in different scenarios, as well as people off camera, on camera. I'm holding like a microphone in front of them sometimes. I'm recording with a cell phone. I'm outside, I'm inside. There's music playing in the background. I just wanted to find one file that I could send to it and just see how it did. And boy, did it more than exceed my expectations. There was only a handful of times where I had to correct the words or phrasing in an 11 and a half minute video. And beyond those types of corrections, anything else that I was doing was just making it easier for the viewer or whoever was reading the transcript. An example of this would be if a speaker repeated a word twice on accident, I would just get rid of the duplicate. And by the way, that 11 and a half minute video only took about nine and a half minutes for me to hit the transcribe button and then it would send it up to Adobe Sensei and have it come back with a fully transcribed transcript. I don't know if that's something that you can say in a sentence, transcribe, transcript, but I'm going to say anyway. It does punctuation. It does capitalization. My main language is English, and it also does Chinese, Spanish, German, French, Japanese, Portuguese, Korean, Italian, Russian, and Hindi. Wow. There's a lot going on there. Three things that I'm already loving about it are, one, it automatically designates speakers, meaning that it can distinguish between who's speaking for the entirety of the clip. All you have to do is go in and change speaker one, speaker two, speaker three to whatever that name may be, and then it will automatically update speaker one to say Javier for the rest of the transcript. And for 10 plus speakers in this video, it got it right every single time except once. And that was easy to change. All I had to do was split that clip up and rename it. Even if I featured a certain speaker at the beginning of the video and brought that same speaker back in the end of the video, it's still new to keep it the same name, which is very impressive. Two, the words are highlighted as the playhead goes across them in the timeline, which is super useful for following along. Number three is the search bar. And I personally think that this is the most important feature of this whole thing, just underneath having the automatically speech to text transcriptions of your transcript. Did it again. And the reason why the search bar is so important is because once you get your transcript and you're looking for specific sound bites, all you have to do is go to the search bar and look for a specific phrase or word and and then the playhead will automatically go to that word on the timeline. Mind blown. This could be such a time saving feature because now instead of looking at just audio waveforms, you have physical text. You have words that you can search for in your audio files. Yes. Side note, that's the same exact reaction I have every single time I see somebody demolish that like button. Yes, but I digress. Let me dive in a little bit deeper on the whole interface, how to get this feature and sign up for it. And then after that, let me give you a couple actual examples from the video file that I was transcribing. I ended up recording like a 40 minute version of this video. It was way too long. So what I might do is just upload that and I'll put a link to it in the description if you wanna see me go through the whole transcript. It's gonna be kind of a boring video, but if you are one of those people that's really interested in that kind of stuff, um, it'll be there. All right, to reiterate, I am using the beta version of Premiere Pro. In order to get to that, you need to go to beta apps within the Adobe Cloud little icon right here. It will be on the sidebar. There's beta apps, here's Premiere Pro. You'll need to install it if you haven't installed it yet. It can work simultaneously with the full version of Premiere Pro. If you don't have the captions window up, what I'm going to do is go to window, text and here is the captions window. Uh, in order to send this for transcription, go to transcript. <laughs> All I have to do is hit create transcription. So for other people, there's going to be another dialog box here where you can click this join the early access button. So if you want to get early access to the transcription service, fill out that form and send it to Adobe. Right here in transcription details, I can do audio clips tagged as dialogue. I can do audio on a specific track or I could do the whole mix. Right now there's three tracks on my timeline. Obviously I'm not using two and three. I'm just using one. So I'm just going to go with audio one because 
because all of the audio is on track one. I already went over the languages, but right here is that drop down menu. You can transcribe from an in and out point. So if you set your in and out points, you could merge the output with an existing transcription. So I don't want to assume here, but I'm going to use that phrase anyway. I'm assuming that if you already had a .srt file or another type of file that was a transcription, you could put that onto the captions track here, the new captions track that's coming and maybe it would merge with that. I'm not completely sure. Again, this is one of my first times using this software. When you use this feature, your audio files will be processed and transcribed automatically in the cloud. Transcribe, boom. It's going to render your audio and upload it to the server. And the last time I did this, after a couple seconds, it actually gave me a uh, uploading time. So the, there we go, five minutes remaining. So for a clip that is 11 minutes and 37 seconds, it's going to take five minutes to uh, transcribe the sequence, which is pretty cool. And like I showed you in the beginning of the video, I ran a timer from when I physically hit the transcribe button to when I had the transcription in front of my face. And that overall time was nine minutes and 27 seconds. And here is the finished transcript inside the transcript window. Immediately upon playback, you can see that the playhead will move to whatever word it is on top of, and it's also vice versa. So if I click on a word here in the transcript, it will move the playhead to wherever that is on the timeline. So cool how you can do that. And to show you that speaker feature, if I just click right here, I already know that this is me because I did this before. So speaker one, I'll type in Javier, hit save, and now it has changed all of the speaker ones to Javier. One thing that I noticed is that it'll kind of do the slang terms if you use those. So like a word like gotta. So like right here, Samir says gotta twice. But the nice thing is it doesn't include filler words. So things like us and ums. And in this example, you're gonna hear Samir say, you know, that's something that I say a lot too. And it won't include the, you know, let me just play it for you spend more time shooting you got to spend more time you know writing like all that like that it's very easy to get caught up in i have to do more um, and it's really easy to overlook what it takes to invest in yourself at this point i just want to show you a couple highlights from me editing the transcript but if you want to see the full in-depth version of that video it's in the description on three two one action I so this little spot here was a director behind the camera off in the distance because there was an explosion happening for this shoot that I was on and it just picked up the number three it didn't pick up three two one action so I'll just put in three two one action come back to it's cool that we get to feature it in our videos especially at this stage too and it's our okay at this stage two it said the number two instead of T uh, W O so Let's change that. You know, I really love it, but I knew that if I wanted to grow and I wanted to continue to evolve and do bigger projects while also not burning out, I had to bring on an editor and writers and other people that could help to collect. So editor and there, now it updated. Editor and writers and other people. That I had my own personal goals outside of Yes Theory because with everything we do, we do everything together. But I felt like I had to find my own thing. So Yes Theory isn't capitalize. I wonder if there's a feature that you can tell it to automatically do this to like every single iteration. Like if you set up a rule, say, if you see the two words, yes, theory together, please capitalize both of them. Because I know that's a function that you can do with other transcription softwares. Another thing is I just clicked on it. Once the font goes to this kind of font, it's a little bit tougher to readjust my eye to where my cursor is. Here, I'm going to save this. And if I hit create captions, so we could do format, subtitle. I don't know what any of these other things are. So I'm just going to do subtitle, style, none, create from sequence transcript, create blank track. Uh, let's do sequence. There we go. Nice. So there are all of my captions on the captions track and the new captions track inside Premiere Pro is just like any other editable, 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 editable track. 
So I can adjust these just however I want to. On the timeline, I go click anywhere. Look at that. It um, automatically, here, I'll bring the text into right here. It automatically goes to the title. It moves the playhead with wherever I move it to. The other part of this, though, is if you wanted to export this as a SRT, um, you can add new sub subtitles, you can split segments, merge segments. But is there a way that we can create an SRT file from this? So you can retranscribe the sequence. If you create captions format, I wonder if one of these is SRT. So there's subtitle, but it'd be cool if there was in this like little drop down menu, it would be like create SRT from captions immediately or something like that. I, I know I would use that if you were exporting something to Facebook and you didn't want to have the subtitles burnt into the video. You just wanted them to be automatically uploaded as an SRT that uh, is applied if somebody does want captions on their video. That's uh, the speech to text transcription function. I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but I hope it gave you some insight into that new feature that is going to sometime be in the full blown version of Premiere Pro. Kudos to Adobe for bringing this to Premiere Pro. And uh, I can't wait to see what other aspects this is going to change in just content creation in general because this is a this is a huge step in terms of creating everything internally within the program and not having to send files off it's uh really a game changer i think if this video was helpful don't forget to leave me a like i'm sure there's going to be a bunch of comments down below about certain things that i may not have any idea about because this is still in beta i what you saw here was my first uh, interaction with the speech to text program. It can only get better from here. I know for a fact that the engineers that work on this software like feedback and they want to incorporate things for it to get better. So if there's things that you would like to see that you noticed in this video, point them out and I maybe one of the engineers will see it and make a note of that. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Javier Mercedes. Live a life of abundance. Uh, hopefully this isn't like a 40 minute video. It might be though. <laughs> All right, bye.